Okay folks, welcome back. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you the work that I've got done on my lathe copier. Um, I've made the transition from the old uh, little mini grinder to this big, uh, you know, a 12 amp mini grinder and, uh, and changed the slides over to this wooden set. And I'll, I'm very, very happy with the way this is working. I've been doing some some playing here freehand and uh, it's making the, all the difference in the world to have that big grinder on. And the other thing is, is having this wooden set of slides has made the machine a lot tighter. There's not as much play in it with the with the drawer slides. There's a lot more play. And I almost think that this slides better than the drawer slides, believe it or not. It just slides so easy, it's it's unbelievable. This is actually pre-finished maple plywood that I've... Uh, I did a project here. I did some office furniture for the fire department up the road from me. And, uh, and they wanted plywood, so I bought a bunch of pre-finished maple plywood. And I was I was just about ready to start doing this and and uh, and going to build it out of melamine again. And then I tried a couple of pieces of this sliding it on each other, and it slides every bit as good as the melamine did. And the other thing is is I don't ever have to worry about this swelling up. So uh, I think that's what I'm going to start building all this stuff out of is uh, is this pre-finished plywood. It costs a little bit more money. Um, you know, a, a good sheet costs eighty dollars, and uh, and I can get uh, some shop grade stuff, which is. I don't know why they call it shop grade because it's literally perfect for about uh, you know forty dollars a sheet or something like that. So, um, so I used as much as I could. If you ha if you've seen that other video uh, showing this thing, then I used as much as I could. I used this top piece with the uh, the plexiglass. This is what I'm going to look down through. I've got the dust collector geared up on it, and uh, you know I'm still using this bottom piece as you can see here. Uh, so I've been doing some carving here. This was a an old table leg that was laying around here for when I had my old copy attachment. I actually needed a full size template for to uh, to make the copy of it. So this was the one that I used to use for the coffee copy so, copy. So I chucked it in here because all I've been using up until this point is uh, is draw or I mean wet hardwood is just go out of my hardwood pile, grab a stick of hardwood, and chuck it in this thing. Well, this was a dry piece of wood. And uh, it's incredible the difference it's making. Not only that is I've got rid of a lot of play in this thing. I added the uh, the more powerful grinder so it's not slowing down. And with dry wood, it's incredible how good a job this thing is doing. It's still leaving little marks in it, but I think that's going to have to be expected. I'm 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 going to have to sand it for sure. So, um, but it, what I'm finding is it just takes literally a minute to smooth this up so that it would be smooth enough to use for a piece of furniture and take a finish so uh, and it's not chipping out which is a nice thing and uh, yeah it's working real good the other thing I did too was I sped my lathe up quite a little bit I put a smaller pulley here in the end I had to use a metal one because a little small one wooden one wouldn't just wouldn't uh, stand together as good so um, so now what I'll do is I'll set the camera up and uh, and I'll do a little video here showing me doing some just some freehand on this and then in a future video what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this to make a set of uh, end tables. My wife's been after me for quite a few years for a nice set of end tables and, uh, and that's what I'm going to do. I've got a bunch of uh, some some hard maple here and I'm going to glue them up and uh, and actually turn some nice legs and make a set of end tables for my wife. So you guys can keep watching and you'll see that too. So I'll set the camera up now and do a little freehand and then uh, and then uh, look forward to seeing more of this in another video.